Hi and welcome to Excessive Gamer. I'm Excessive Brutality and today I'll bring you a let's play for Until Dawn. Now I've already completed um I've already completed this game, so um this will be my second run through. And I really, really like the first run through, and I know it's not for everyone. Um it's uh, more of a cinematic experience, I think. Anyway, that's how I think of it. But um, I'm really into those kind of games. Uh, I'm also a big fan of uh, anything that Telltale games uh, come up with. So, um, so yeah, let's uh, let's check this out. Hope you enjoy the ride. I think we're gonna get a load of jumps, a load of scares coming. Seeing that this is a very cinematic experience, I will be, I think, a bit quieter than my regular vlogs, uh, especially uh, when we've got uh, cutscenes. So, um, just so you can follow the story, in case you haven't done so already. I heard there's a load of uh, different possibilities for endings in this game, and I think I may have just, uh, may have touched upon maybe one or two of them. Kind of looks like uh, Jason Voorhees oh from uh, February 13th. I can't believe you actually did that. Don't you guys think this is a little bit cruel? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah has been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, Em. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, Em, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. weekend Josh all right guys I just thought I'd uh, tell you um, that I am a humongous humongous horror buff I uh, I am very very keen on, on anything horror pretty much mostly stuff from the 80s um, early 90s um, huge fan of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street series uh, you know how it goes I mean everybody likes Freddy um, Exorcist. I only actually enjoyed the first Exorcist. I never Josh. really liked the the second or third ones, and um, they definitely not for me. Um, I think they completely lost the plot in the second or third one, but the original one was epic. And um, and yeah, also Tales from the Crypt. I love Tales from the Crypt. I know it's not a horror movie, but I mean you can't go wrong. Stephen King, you know. 80s music, 80s animation, comic style. It's everything that's right in what uh, a horror oh series um, should be. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you could make it. Weird teeth, man. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all gonna be just a stupid prank. Uh, 
going it's fine she just can't take a joke it was just a prank han what did you do we just messing around beth it wasn't serious you jerks hannah hannah so should we go after her you know i kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now mike press the correct oh, action shit. button before the time runs out okay it's great I got two choices, either go fast or go safe. I'm gonna go safe, because I've gone fast last time. It doesn't make a difference, the story couldn't change that much, so... Especially not in this part of the story. I mean, the outcome has to be what it was last time I played. I don't think it can be changed. I think there's an alternate. I'm not sure. I can't really say. I can't really say. Noise or follow footprints? Uh, follow footprints. By the way, so far those two decisions would be uh, exactly the opposite of what I would actually have done. But I'm trying to go for something different. Watch your language! Damn it, Hannah. Maybe children watching! Where are you? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Whatever. Use the touchpad as shown. You can direct the beam using the right stick. I don't think it matters right now. If I'm not mistaken, we should come across a totem here. One of those little relic things. L1 to walk faster, man. Yes. You're in a Hello? horror movie. Hello? Generally, it's all about walking slow. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can get it more horror movie like. I can't control the speed. So. Okay. Death totem. I've just seen a bit of the future. And it was mighty fine. We can't play a horror game without having scenes like that, for fuck's sake. It's gonna be good. Anna. It's gonna be good. Let's not do that right now. What the hell was that? I know. I know, bitch. Anna. Look at that. All alone in the Hannah. cold. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, yeah, give her your jacket. Give her your blouse as well. Give her your trousers. Everything. Just give it all. Give it all to her. She's done. She's very cold. It's very cold. Here we go, guys. We're running away from, from... I don't know what the fuck we're running away from, man. Always someone has to fucking fall. So cliche in a horror movie. I love it, I love it. Bye bye phone. Oh, geez, it's crazy. No. No. Shit. No. 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 Oh shit. Oh my god, she's fucking hulk. Look at the strength in that one fucking arm. She's Hold holding on. a fucking... Hold on. Look at her. <laughs> fucking Nathan Drake, man. Oh, man. 
I don't see how she's gonna be able to give you the hand. Let's just drop Hannah. Fuck it. I'm gonna drop her. Fuck you, Hannah. Fuck you, bitch. Die, bitch. Oh, wait. Oh, God almighty, that can't be good for your back. Tell you what, a bit of deep heat. Deep heat might help. Look at that shot. Fuck yes. Now that's what I call an entry to a game. Dr. A.J. Hill. I love this guy, by the way. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Makes me happy. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Oh. It's peaceful. Interesting. It's interesting. So, would it make you happy to spend the whole week here, all by yourself? Hmm. I think so, personally. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Now that's a different fucking shit there, man. You didn't say that at the beginning, motherfucker. <sighs> Oh, what lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Oh, I'm sorry we're out of time for this session. We'll talk again very soon. Such a weird guy. I loved him in Prison Break, but I like the fact that he was weird, and I think it's perfect for his role right now. Perfect. I think they couldn't have gotten a better guy for this role. Such a freak. Such a fucking freak! Just like me. I like it. They didn't go for subtleties here, did they? They didn't say please, though. I've learned you don't say please, you don't get. So, nope. It's happening this year, man. This year, you're going down, motherfucker. And I'm here to kill every fucker.
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! So yeah, we know that the, um, all these uh, actors are actually proper actors and they've used their likeness as well. So they've um, gone all out here, that's really cool. Son of a bitch. Already there, man. Already stalking. Sam. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Hannah's best friend. Grab it. Let's not get into Hello? that right now. Path to the cable car station, 902. Like it there, there has to be some mist, obviously the crow. The gate's busted. Climb over, Chris. Oh, what? What? <sighs> Damn. Another handheld experience, but uh, 
That's pretty cool. Let's go quick. Made it over the world, baby. You're okay. You're okay. It's all good. Apart from the fact that the guy behind you with the machete. But it's all cool. Don't worry about it, man. He probably just want to butter his toast. It's all good. Right, here we go. A little bit of walk. Look at that. Footsteps in the snow. That's awesome. She must be on something, guys. Let's continue. Oh. Hey there, fella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> I don't think I managed to do that last time. I struggle keeping still for very long. It's not my... Um, Forte, really. I like how they actually spend some time with each character to establish them. They actually do pretty good establishing characters. <laughs> cool. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts. Picking up a totem and turning it will reveal a colored butterfly and the premonition of a possible future. Oh, bollocks. Sorry, press the wrong button. Guidance totem. Okay. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecy comes true depends on the choices you make. Press R1 at any time to view your totem collection. I already did that by mistake before. Thank you very much. I don't want to see my totem collection at all. Thank you very much. There's a rack sack right here. Chris, Let's go here? see what the fuck that is. Bags here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Phone's ringing, bitch. Now, I would generally, in my in real life, I would close the back. So I'm gonna snoop. I'm doing everything opposite. Aha! Look who it is. He knows it. Chris. Motherfucker. Chris has a crush on Ashley. Methodical, protective, humorous. Continue. I don't know. I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, thanks for letting me know. I I can take it from here. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. <laughs> It'll blow your mind. What is the little sparkly thing? What do you want me to look oh, at? Look at this. Wanted. Milgram Victor. Nice. Sex mail. Height 62. We'll Last known address, Blackwood Pines. Last seen, 0360 998. Oh, Wanted in connection with the first degree here. arson offense as well as various death threats. Anyone with information regarding this dangerous criminal should contact the BPMC as soon as possible. Blackwood Provis Provincial Mount Constabulary. What the hell is that? I suspect it's just police. Whatever. Collect clues to solve mysteries of until dawn and increase the chances of survival. Ta -da. I don't want anyone to survive. Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties. 
Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, no, you go ahead, Grizzly. Yes, yes! Alright. Chris. Here goes. Cable car station. It's probably me now. Let's see. Use right stick to aim, press R2 to shoot. Good shooting. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. No, I don't think so, girl. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I want to shoot that motherfucker. Sorry, guys, I didn't really harm any animals during the making of this film. Just that one. Ooh, look at that shit. Oh, what are you doing? How could you do that? Chris, that is so effed up. What? That poor little guy was alive about 10 seconds ago. Oh, come on. Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh, oh my god, that? Oh. that? Get it away! Ah! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Man, it is... It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear, the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. All right. Yeah, I don't think the cable cars arrived yet. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. After you. A oh, real gentleman. Blackwood Pine Hotel and Sanatorium for a healthy body and mind. What a yeah. crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. Family bought a mountain. My god, you can see the bathtub. <laughs> Freaky. <laughs> Whatever. All right, I think it's on its way. Nothing else here. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, you know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? 
Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Jess, Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting, irreverent. Irreverent. And we oh, teeth as well. New people. Time to meet and greet. Upper cable car station. 917. <gasps> what the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <sighs> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? All right, this is Emily, intelligent, Mike's ex, resourceful and persuasive. And I can tell you straight up the bat, she is one fucking hell of a bitch. And I fucking loved to fucking hate her last time I played it. So, um, let's just say I will very much enjoy killing her during this game. Very much. Let's continue, shall we? I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Matt. Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, and active, and a fucking idiot for sticking with her. But uh, whatever, man. Whatever. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Look at him carrying all the fucking bags. What a fucking idiot! No way he'd fucking carry all the bags. Equal rights, motherfucker. <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean getting kind of fucking hell. Out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. If you want equal rights, Definitely not gonna grab a bag. Party. I mean, Let's do this together. Teamwork. Jesus! <laughs> My favorite character. 
My Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, persuasive, and super funny. So this is a uh, my favorite character in the game. <laughs> you guys, Michael. You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one, Michael. You're a jerk. Come on, guys. We're all friends here, right? No need for violence. Just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods. It's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out. Otherwise, this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't want to make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> That's uh, fucking hilarious. No, seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back on the trip. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Yeah, right. No, let's agree. Let's be the idiot. All right. Fine. Let's continue being a stupid. It's so boy. important. I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Sweetie, she says. Such a bitch. Yeah, Sam. She's going to go and see Sam. Fuck her. No way. Look at the fucking stupid idiot coming about. You deserve to die, boy. <sighs> Ashley has a crush on Chris. Academic, inquisitive, and forthright. Somebody's getting a little friendly, and not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. They don't like they're arguing, not not being friendly. Oh! oh God. <laughs> hey, whoa! <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just Louise. What? Well, I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh! Oh my God! Hey, well. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Uh, uh... Encourage. Let him see it. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. She said she was Wait, looking for what? Sam. What the hell? Nothing. nothing you think well, yeah. is it ever just nothing with him ever fire starter <laughs> yeah bitch Matt. let's cause chaos between these fuckers all right guys well that's where i'm leaving it for now um hope you like it this story is amazing so um so i hope you stick with it uh, until until the end with me um, so yeah, if you like the video, please like and leave a comment and please subscribe. You'll help my, my channel grow and uh, I'll be able to provide you with more content. So I appreciate you guys watching the video and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you very much.